Ladies and gentlemen, what's good? We're back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. If you follow the leakers at all, you know that a buttload of new content is going to be dropping in Season 1. Obviously, we covered some of it yesterday, talking about the new levels that are being added into the game. But we got a lot of new content that is yet to be covered that we just found out about. So we're going to be taking a look at that today. Hope you guys enjoy. We are going to be dropping a balance changes review video later on this channel as well. So make sure you guys are subscribed if you haven't already. We're going to hop into things because there are a lot of things to look at. We're going to try to move through the skins relatively quick, quickly. A, uh, a nice looking Quaxer skin right there. Don't hate that. Obviously, these are crates. So a lot of these are going to be things most of you are not going to be buying. Although that Krig 6... Wow, that's a sick Krig 6. If I hadn't just gotten the Mythic, like, honestly, I would prefer that on just about any other skin. I do really want to know, that looks like maybe an AGR and, uh, I don't know what sniper that would be. I don't know if we're going to get to see that. Is is there a way? I really want to see what snipers those are, but I don't think it's in the leaks. That's unfortunate. Oh, wait, this is the same crate, I think. I don't know. We got a DRH right there. DRH, I know, is getting a buff this season. Wait, those are all the all the buffs. Or all the... What is, what is happening here? Okay, we got a new seasonal camo. This one actually looks really good, too. So it looks like a nice, cool, gold and turquoise texture type of thing. I think this is going to be worth grinding for as well. I think there are some blueprints this is going to look really, really good on. I think they've done a phenomenal job with the seasonal camos recently, so... Props to them on that. I think it looks like a W, and I will definitely be grinding for it. Some One thing that I am definitely excited about is the addition of the Mythic DLQ. I think this is one that people have been waiting on for a long time because the DLQ is, I would say, the most popular sniper in the game, and people love to watch snipers. So the fact that we're getting a Mythic DLQ is a W. The gun... I don't know. Is that, a, I think, a legendary trophy skin that comes with it? Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Wow. Is that is that the, the base model, or is that it with gold on it? I guess it's just, like, very heavily golden anyway. Whoa! That scope is insane! Okay. Wow. This thing, uh, this thing looks like it's worth upgrading. That's a pretty nice trophy skin as well. Definitely going to be buying this one. No question about it. I mean, I buy all the Mythics, but I'll probably upgrade this one if I'm being totally honest. We got a new Legendary M13 coming. That's, uh, is, the, is the carrot a part of the Iron Sights? That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know why that's in the bag. I don't know that I'll buy it. Um, I already have the Mythic M13, so after that, there's not really a whole lot that you need to do to upgrade that. Looks like another uh, Legendary Mac 10 Honestly, pretty soon after the most recent Mag-10, so that's interesting. I mean, I guess we've had the Mag-10 for a while now. It looks nice. Once again, not sure I'd buy it. Most of the time, if I already have a Legendary for a gun, I'm not really going to bother buying a second Legendary. What what gun is this? It, that, it doesn't hover over. It doesn't... Okay. If I had to guess, it's probably a Legendary AS Val, but I'm not 100%. It could be a PPSH too? AS Val or PPSH would be my guess. Um, I think this is the same as the M13. Or wait, no, I think that's a Holger. I want to say that's a Holger. It, I don't I don't know why we're not putting labels. Does it does it say at the top and I'm just not no? It, it, was there a section that okay, no. I thought maybe there was a section that showed us what they all were. Interesting. Very interesting new signature attachment for the DOQ. Concussion after getting hit. I think we'll see the gameplay for this in a second, but basically, I, I guess it means if you get hit markered, you're just kind of stuck standing still and you can't move. Even if you don't directly hit them, it still has like a concussion effect, which is very interesting. I'm curious what the tournament modes are going to be this season. Obviously, we've already seen that. We do have a uh, new rank season dropping as well. Can I see the modes? I want to know what the modes are. I loved Alcatraz. I loved Ground War. Oh, the Dingo! That was the... Okay, that was the last Legendary. That, so this is the Dingo LMG that's getting added into the game. Okay, I, I was a little bit curious about that one. Here we go. Dingo, new LMG being added into COD Mobile. Another look at the new Seasonal Camo. Like I said, I, I'm a big fan of it. I think it's going to look solid on top of some of the Mythics and Legendaries. Uh, Reawaking... Oh my gosh, that's loud. 
Is this the the Battle Pass trailer? Do, do we have like all the... Oh my gosh, I gotta get some coffee in me. What the heck? Or is this just for Kodam in China? I am confusion? Maybe it's just for Kodam China? I don't know. I'm excited about the stim shot getting added. I know I talked about that in yesterday's video. I think that's going to do a lot for the pace of the game, and I think it's going to make it really, really entertaining. Um, unit support. While equipped, your operator skill will charge by 20% for every one of your teammates' kills. Meanwhile, any personal charge gain... What? Any personal charge gain will be reduced... By 60%, you'll also receive 4% of score streak charge gain from teammates. What the frick is this? It'll charge by 20% every time one of your teammates gets a kills? Does that mean if I have a bunch of slayers on my team, they get 5 kills, I instantly get my operator? That can't be right. The wording on that has to be wrong. The wording on that has to be wrong. Otherwise, that is insanely broken. I, I don't even know. Ravager Launcher for Battle Royale. Deploy a Ravager Launcher that automatically locks onto enemy soldiers and vehicles within range. What? Huh? I, I'm assuming that doesn't do a ton of damage, right? Automatically locks onto players and vehicles? What? Ooh, some new attachments for the, uh, for the dingo. All right. Black Ops Suppressor. That's basically the agency suppressor. Um... Let's see, Eliminator, nothing special on that. Vertical Recoil, Silence plus L. You lose ADS Bullet Spread. Um, none of these really look amazing. Oh no, they still have the Agency Suppressor, but it has a minus 20% horizontal. Well, that's an L. Oh, they actually added a Suppressor that increases range. That's interesting. So this is like a modified, it's basically a modified Monolithic Suppressor. That honestly looks like it's worth it. Uh, oh, this is the this is the DLQ's concuss effect. So basically, like you you hit marker the person and they like they. Oh my gosh! How long does it concuss? Oh my gosh! So basically, if you get hit marker by a DLQ next season, you're dead anyway. Like you might as well just go ahead and take the L. That is insane. The duration on that cuss you start regening. Before the concussion effect wears off. Holy crap. Yeah, that's not... Oof. And then you'll see right here, even even if you, uh... Even if you, like, don't get directly hit, it still has a partial concuss effect. Oh my gosh, that's busted. They better, they better nerf that. That's so broken. Oh my gosh. Um... Uh, oh, upcoming legendary character. Nice. Nice. How much of this can you guys see? Yeah, you can see a decent amount. Any volume? No volume? Okay. Well, there you go. New character. Ta-da! Very nice. Very nice. Uh, updated gun sounds for the Rytec RPD KN44 MAC-10 and CBR. Interesting. Dingo stats. All right. Whoa. That's a fast rate of fire. I think. Yeah, that's a, that's a decently fast rate of fire. So let's see. Four shot time to kill is going to be a 249. That's a faster time to kill than the Holger. It doesn't have as much range. This is definitely a close range LMG, which is very interesting. Um, oh, 1.3 to the head, though. 1.3 to the head makes things interesting. Because 28, you get plus 2.8 for each point one. Uh, that's around, like, 9 extra damage. Yeah, so you have 3-shot potential on this. This looks like it could be pretty solid. Definitely going to be a closer range LMG. And the, the recoil is not great, but it's also not terrible. You got the Black Ops attachments as well. 80-round base mag. This seems, uh, seems like a pretty solid gun. ADS time's not terrible either. All right. I'm interested. This is the look of the Dingo with gold, with platinum, with Damascus, with... Ooh, diamond looks clean. Oh, and the new emerald skin as well. Sick. I'm rocking with it. Oh, we got more attachments. Good lord. 
Uh, I believe the grips will be pretty standard. Black Ops stock? It is interesting that they're, like, renaming a bunch of the attachments, but they're the same thing. Steel Rain, that was the one that was... The, the muzzle was basically the monolithic, so that gives you a lot of strafe speed. Downside is hip fire bullet spread, but... An LMG, you're not really going to be hip firing a ton. Barrel with 20% range, that's nice. Oh, like a... Kind of a combination of different barrels. What about the Steel Rain barrel? Ooh, fire interval. Ooh. So you could build out for... Oh, that's really interesting. Obviously, okay, it does have bullet speed. But the fact that you can get 6% fire interval from that barrel could be a game changer. You build everything else out for recoil control. This thing could go crazy. I'm going to have to do some math on that to figure out how good that's going to be. Uh, oh, wait. And you've got like a, you got like a fast reload... But obviously, that's not going to give you mobility, so... It, if one of these was to give you mobility... Oh, here we go. The light reload, minus 40, but honestly, minus 40. Wait, isn't the base 80? Like, the other ones are 38-round fast reload. This seems like a... It turns it into an AR, basically. Well, that's very interesting as well. I'm curious to look at all this. Uh, we do, it looks like... Oh, no, they privated the gameplay for the DLQ... All right, and then we get to the balance changes, which we'll have a video on later. This video has been long enough as it is. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the upcoming season. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next one.